Hello guys, a blessed Sunday to all, this is Mike Padawan, we're back to our latest update, this is the weekend edition, and it's valid until Tuesday, July 7 to 9, 2024, and this is our English version, brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation, one of the best institutions here in the Bicol region and Naga City, but before we begin, we'd like to uh, thank our partners, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with you. If you're interested, just click on the link up here. Or if you're watching via Facebook, visit the description page for more details regarding BPI Sustainable with you. And also one of the best hotels in the Bicol region and Naga City, Avenue Plaza Hotel. The local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Negacion and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Kamakili Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordad. Let's begin with our update. Here's the uh, latest graph set that we created today. It is valid until Tuesday. We have an upper level low. This is a low pressure center, which is uh, centered to the east of uh, Taiwan. This is a low pressure around uh, 30 to 50,000 feet at flight levels. Okay, so this is a non effect if you're at the surface mostly clear skies but it generates some uh, surface trough okay bringing some thunderstorms across eastern Luzon including the Bicol region and some parts of Imaropa and southern Tagalog provinces so expect more thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening through uh, Wednesday due to local thunderstorms produced by these troughs and uh, the usual uh, uh, warm sea surface temperature that generates uh, more thunderstorms in store and this uh, upper level low is also known as a tropical upper tropospheric uh, trough okay that's t-u-t-t -T. that's the technical term of this upper level low and it uh, enhances thunderstorms here known as a surface trough across uh, parts of our country Okay, so still no uh, tropical cyclone in sight for the next five days, but uh, on day 10 onwards, there might be a uh, possibility of a tropical cyclone formation somewhere here near Bicol region towards northern Luzon that's uh, coming from the European model, while the uh, uh, American model is suggesting a cyclone uh, next uh, week, next weekend. Forming here over the West Philippine Sea, tracking over the area of uh, Vietnam. So these are two uh, conflicting uh, forecasts from these reliable models. So we are still not yet sure. The forecast of these two reliable models, uh, we are more focused on the uh, European model. So this is likely to be the uh, possible uh, uh, formation of a tropical cyclone sometime July 15 until the 20th since we are now moving into another trend of uh, wet uh, conditions uh, the wet MJO or model Julian oscillation over our country so watch out for that now here's the uh, fast animation as you can see here's the upper level uh, trough and uh, the upper level low I mean and it's generating more thunderstorms across the country and uh, uh, the usual uh, uh, near equatorial trough here, nothing unusual yet. And for the zoom in satellite animation, beginning around uh, 1 30 this afternoon until uh, 7 this evening, you can clearly see here blossoming thunderstorm clouds all across the archipelago. So expect isolated to scattered rain showers and thunderstorms across our country every afternoon. Now, based on the uh, computer models, until Thursday, or I mean Wednesday, we expect more thunderstorms to form every afternoon or evening, just like this one for tomorrow, Monday afternoon through the evening. Uh, various sections of the country will experience thunderstorms. And uh, Tuesday afternoon over Luzon and uh, Palawan. And as we move into Tuesday evening, it will bring also rain showers and thunderstorms across uh, Bicol region and uh, parts of the Visayas. And on uh, Wednesday afternoon, again expect thunderstorms across Luzon, Mimaropa, Visayas, and Mindanao. And through the evening, 
across uh, portions of the Bicol region and uh, uh, Romblon, including um, Masbate and uh, Panay. Okay, so for the rainfall accumulation forecast until uh, Wednesday, we expect uh, most of the country to experience afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms. As you can see here, these are all red and uh, this is quite common since we are still on the rainy or wet season for our country. And for the uh, wind forecast, here's the European model uh, for the next uh, uh, three days. So we expect uh, the uh, monsoon trough or the yeah the monsoon trough to develop by Wednesday here over the uh, Philippine Sea, becoming active on Thursday, Friday, until Saturday. So we are expecting a low pressure system to form in the vicinity of Palau over the uh, East Philippine Sea where in the winds is blowing from the southwest and northeast that will generate a possible circulation north of Palau and on uh, Sunday on next Sunday we expect the low pressure area forming east of Surigao. So this is something to uh, uh, observe or to be watched over this is something to be watched over for the next uh, seven days and if we move it to eight to nine or up to ten days we expect this system to become a, uh, a strong LPA passing very close to the Bicol region on the, uh, Monday July 15 okay that will be Monday evening and then July 16 uh, in the afternoon, it will become an active LPA or even a tropical depression approaching eastern sections of Cagayan Valley. So this is a forecast from the European model that remains highly uncertain, less than 30% accuracy. So we will wait and see and look at, uh, at the east. There is another LPA forming on July 16 in between Guam and uh, Palau. So it might be up to back... Uh, uh, systems okay so we shall wait and see let's hope that most of them will track towards the north without any landfall across our country but it will uh, signal the start of the uh, southwest monsoon so this is the southwest monsoon that may uh, start to be enhanced by this uh, uh, tropical uh, potential tropical cyclone come July 15 to 16 so that's from the European model the most trusted model when it comes to medium to long range forecast okay now if we take a look at the American model it shows here that uh, on uh, July 13 Saturday the system that they are uh, forecasting is over to the west of Palawan okay so on uh, July 14 it may become a strong tropical storm over the uh, Kalayan Island group of the disputed islands so please take all necessary precautions down there and on Monday July 15 it will become a powerful typhoon a category 1 or 2 approaching central Vietnam so it's a different take when it comes to the American model so it's still highly uncertain because if we take a look on the European model it's a different take on this tropical system so the European model shows it here approaching northern Luzon but the uh, American model is quite aggressive a strong typhoon making landfall over Danang uh, Vietnam again this forecast remains highly uncertain we will wait until they blend together on what will be the true system come July 15 to 16 okay and if we take a look at the uh, Australian model, it's another system here. It's a different take also in between Guam and uh, uh, Palau. This is already a tropical depression, while the uh, mm, German uh, model shows the system. Same with the European model uh, over the Philippine Sea. So we will observe that. Again, this is still highly uncertain, not yet sure, and uh, we will wait till next week if this system will push through. But again, 
uh, during the month of July, we expect two to three tropical cyclones uh, forming and uh, either moving towards uh, northern Luzon or Taiwan, Japan, Hong Kong. So that will be the scenario whenever we are on the month of July. And before we leave you, here's the latest uh, wave and uh, here's the latest wave forecast from the uh, European model. So over the East Philippine Sea, it will remain at one meter wave heights. Over the Central Philippines, okay, uh, the inland waters of the Central Philippine Islands, it will become up to about half a meter in wave height, very suitable for fishing and sea travel. Over the West Philippine Sea, it will be uh, one meter or below. So uh, again, overall, the uh, waves across the oceans surrounding the Philippine Islands will remain quiet okay, and light and suitable for fishing and sea travel. So there we go. That's the weekend edition of our update. And we will return on Wednesday to give you more updates on what's in store across the Philippine Islands and the Western Pacific. This is Mike Padua saying uh, have a great week ahead. Uh, stay safe always. And thank you so much for watching our channel. God bless to all.